Hey guys and welcome back to the harsh and unforgiving world of post Fenem, where we have trees growing and bees pollinating and all the other good stuff underway. In fact, that's doing really well on the pollination. We're going to have to come over and check that out. But today, we are going to start messing around with that weird and jumpy world of the Enders. Uh, in our quest book here, you can see that last time we did the Slice and Spice and I want to go through and do a few more of these things here. Uh, we're not going to get onto the big powers or the... Um, forestry for a second or two but this ender attractor um let's go up to the top when you with the right ingredients you can simulate the heads of one of these dimensional beings now i don't really need to simulate because look i've got i've got three of them from just kind of fighting here place the head on top of two black wool blocks then right click one of the wool blocks with a vibrant alloy this will attract the live specimen for your stuff and expend the vibrant alloy so we've got pulsating energetic conductive i don't think i've got any vibrant alloy let's have a look and see what we need to make it uh, vibrant alloy nuggets of course but what we actually want to do is an energetic alloy and an ender pearl Wowie. Okay, we're going to take two of these and maybe two ender pearls. Ooh, that, that's expensive, isn't it? Hang about. Let's see how many we've got. We've got just under a stack of ender pearls, so we should be able to do something with that. Let's put this in and see what's going on whilst I also. Oh, long binder conduit. Let's get that out there. Whilst I also go and figure out what's going on with this black wool, because black wool is not something that I happen to have kicking around, though I do have a few things in here that might help. So we've got some string and uh, some ink sacks. These will definitely help. Now, it just said above two blocks of black wool. I didn't want to do all of that string. Oh, well, that's going to be uh, difficult at some point. Yeah, I can't even craft it down back into wool. Ah, uh, that was not what I wanted at all. Oh, well, we have to live with these mistakes as they happen. Um, or I do quite, quite often. Uh, it's getting warm down here because obviously there's a lot of power on the go and things like that. But we can definitely deal with all of these. You can see I just cleaned up my, uh, my inventory before we started doing this stuff. So everything should be nice and wonderful here. So we've got one of these. We just need to check with the one. Uh, how are we doing on the time of day? It's getting close for evening. That's okay. We can we can live with that. Let's get this out of my inventory and this one as well, or at least off my hotbar. And where are we going to summon them? Well, obviously, we're going to do it near the water. So if when all things go wrong, we can just kind of jump in. So this is our make-do enderman, kind of a, a scareman, maybe. Right, I right-clicked with that. I, I heard him. Where did he go? He's over there. Oh, that's, that's terrible. Why would you do that? Well... He was here and now he's gone. So that that's terrible. We need a way of trapping him within the confines. Oh, it's a little ender mini. Maybe we can annoy him like that. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. I'm going to get into my tunnel over here. Ah, oh, nearly had him. And we're going to try and take him on. He does like to keep running in the water, though. This is not so useful. Okay, well, anyway, the whole point of this was to actually get a quest done. I'm going to go back inside. He must have despawned by now. Must have. Uh, okay, let's get back inside, read the book, and uh, laugh about everything that is going on. Oh, I was supposed to do it with an Enderman head in my inventory. Maybe they didn't actually want me to do it like this, but that, that looked quite good. Um... Let's try it like this. Is, is this a thing that can happen? Maybe things are not working out as well as I thought they were. Craft a specific item. Okay, well, the Enderman head is actually what we need to do. So let's try and figure out how to make that. This was... Well, okay, so we figured out what the end point is before we actually got around to doing the, uh, the good stuff here. So... <clears throat> I don't have access to leather. I don't know where I'm supposed to find leather. It's like this. This is not a usable route. Let me just show you all of this stuff here. I do I do not want to go through and do this just to make a single bit of leather. <sighs> all right, well, it looks like I'm going to have to do it. Uh, I, I don't even want to show the process on camera because it's just so long. So, so long. So I screamed, I shouted, I bashed my head against the desk and I came up with a new plan. But first, I wanted to grab one of these so that we could come in here and go life rebooted. Rebooted, sorry. I, I just cannot say that right. Uh, and that gives us this th this um, quest here. And I don't have a puddock, however you pronounce that. So I, I'm going to grab that. And also some hill cherry pollen. I have no idea what the pollen is for. So we're just going to deposit that in here. Uh, and let's drop this off over here now this does really need to go 
into my collection of purebred trees over there, but we will do stuff about that. The next thing I need to do, so, I was screaming about the lack of leather and how I can't make any leather or anything like that. But if we come down into this civilization, you'll see this selection of eggs. And this one up here in particular, I think we recognize. We recognize as the cow egg. I do anyway as a sometimes creative player. This quantum digital synth synthesizer is the thing we need to try and make though. So let's try and figure out how we do that quantum. It's nice and easy, there we go, okay. Book in the middle, some real glass and some wood. Now the fact that it is not cycling through the different types of glass makes me suspicious. Always suspicious me, you know, I've got to, got to double check all these things. But we're going to check it. One, two, three, four. Four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's come over here. How am I doing temperature-wise? I'm actually a little bit warm to be hanging out in this area. But we will live with it somehow. I'm not sure how. Okay, so it wasn't that type of glass. I'm pretty sure we can sort this out somehow. You can see how we have a original furnace up there. That's what we're going to use to make it all better. I only want four bits. Uh, the rest can actually go in here because I quite like this quite clear glass. Extra vibrant alloy for when we think we've actually got it fixed. Oh, look, load of conduit binder. Did that in the wrong order. Um, let's pop this down here and... Four bits of regular glass, awesome. Right, that is exactly what we want. So we're gonna pop this back in the middle. I think the glass was in the center of the of the bits here, I can't remember. Okay, the quantum digital synthesizer. Oh look, and we got a book back. I was expecting to have to remake that and stuff. Okay, cool. So we got the, uh, got this reward. Uh, I'm gonna go for the half heart look at this, but those two together. Like we make protein like you could not believe. So I'm gonna go straight for this full heart. How many are we up to now? Eight. Ah, oh, it's amazing. Okay, what about this quantum digital synthesizer thing here? What, what does it do? How do we use it? Let's pop that there. Um, I have not bound it to this. No, like that. I do not have any currently selected tasks. Okay, well, let's try doing that and go, hi. Oh, wait, I think I saw a, pic a thing there. Select that task, then do that. Okay. Um, so, how do we... I didn't even read the quest set up here. If you supply the QDS with enough materials, it can synthesize a cow for you. Okay, wonderful. You will need to select this task to, and use the book to set the digital quantum synthesizer to accept the ingredients. Okay, so a stack of protein. 16 bits of leather. Where am I supposed to get the leather from? This is why I was here. Ah! I'm actually going to have to make some leather, aren't I? Okay, so we're just going to have to full-on deal with this going the full way through. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, scan the leather and find out how to make keratin. Uh, and in my NEI here, this isn't quite as bad as I originally suspected when I, look at, when I looked at it. As you can see, these two are the same, uh, and these uh, Christines are the same, and then these three are all the same as well. So we've only actually got three chemicals to make. That is still a lot of chemicals to make, but having a quick look through, it's all carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, and a little bit of sulfur. So let's go and grab that. So I'll start with a little bit of sulfur. Uh, many carbon. I'm not sure how many. That might be too many. Just a little bit too many. We get some hydrogen and some oxygen. That's the wrong button for the oxygen, isn't it? We want to do that one instead. And finally, a stack of nitrogen. Okay, with all these in my inventory, I am going to just go through and make the thing. Oh, look, we were making diamonds. Make the things that I needed to make. I am a little bit... Uh, thoughtful about whether we can do a shift click on some of these. No, I can't. Okay, so let's start with this Christine. It's a single sulfur with two oxygen and a nitrogen. I'm probably going to forget this if I don't do it quick. So it's a single sulfur with two oxygen and was it a single nitrogen? We'll pop that there. Two oxygen, single nitrogen. Okay, uh, seven hydrogen, three carbon. We can do that as well. So one, two, three, and seven hydrogen where is the hydrogen that i put there we go one two three four five six seven okay finally boom i'm just gonna do a lot of those it's the oxygen we're missing uh i would like to do a lot nine might not be a lot but it's enough to put it into the chemistry journal and know what is going on here okay that's good that means we can now make it on mass the next one i want to build of course c5 h9 n 
0.02 like that that is it okay what can we dump up in here just to make sure it all gets working perfect brilliant once again into the chemistry journal with you so we can make you on mass and of course, three and nine, three and nine, or however you pronounce this, is the last one. Four nine zero three, four nine one three. Sorry. Uh, so four nine one and one. Oh no, that was the wrong one. But it did it anyway. Good enough. Okay, I'm gonna just dump all these up here. What are we actually short of? I believe it is oxygen. Yes, oxygen are what we're short of, but that should be okay. Once again, get this in here just to be in our chemistry journal. And then finally, we need carotene, which I believe we've actually figured out how to make in here. Oh, let's go see what's going on. Let's go. It's, it's over in that corner. I don't think we're going to get up there in time, actually. Always takes so long. Always takes so long. You're firing at a spider. That running off that side was totally what I meant to do. Oh, here comes another one. All right, we're going to face him down. Up. Oh! Yeah, nice. Okay, we were making carotene next. Okay, that, that should be all good. I'm just going to throw this on the floor because I have many spider's eyes and I've not found a use for them yet. Okay, the next thing is, of course, making carotene. This should be relatively simple. It's just about remembering the order that the things go in. So it's two down the side and a diagonal. Uh, so it's one, two diagonal of these and then these ones go in this order here perfect brilliant wonderful this should enable us to make a little bit of keratin hopefully uh, and the keratin once we clear all this in the middle here actually made no just a single one okay please, please just let me put a single one down that's all i want to do makes five bits of leather makes 12 bits of leather which was roughly what we wanted okay so let's go back in here we need 16 okay we can we can make more we can make more we can do this what is it that we are short of it is the proline or however you wish to pronounce that we put that in there and like so we are missing let's have a quick look through this is so badly sorted out if i do no, it doesn't sort out my inventory like that. That's unfortunate. Okay, let's take a moment to sort this out. Of course, hydrogen. Always hydrogen. Oh, another explosion's going on. All good, though. Um, let's get four, three, four stacks of hydrogen, however many we've got here, and just make a whole shed load of these. 14 of them seems pretty good. Mm-mm-mm, keratin. Not enough keratin. What are we missing? Chris died. I think, like, it's all in our book now. So literally all we need to do is make sure we get this right. And <laughs> let's take the book away. In fact, there's two bits of keratin here. That is um, interesting. I must have shift clicked and it did a funny thing. Uh, so we've now got 22. That's even better. Okay. So we wanted to put 16 in here. Now, was this a case of I needed to put a hopper in there i'm not sure i don't know we'll, we'll figure that out in a second but we got 15 bits of leather it was 16 we needed of course let's go find out what else it is we're missing wow uh, maybe get a small kip as well loud people up there okay we needed some soya milk uh and we also needed Bones and proteins. Okay, 16 bones, 8 soya milk. Now, I happen to know that 8 soya milk are something we definitely have access to. There is 9, so I'll pop that one back. Uh, bones are upstairs. Okay, that's 16 bones. And the last thing, of course, was a stack of protein, which we should have in abundance, 131. I could technically do the whole Meat Man clone thing. Now, we need to try and hand these in somehow. Uh, if all else fails, I'll steal that hopper. Um... In fact, I know which hopper I can get. That's not currently in use. This one was feeding like all sorts of rotted meats and stuff into. There's a thing up there. What is that? We got a furnace. How long's that been there? <laughs> I didn't know I'd put that there. Obviously, probably trying to deal with some lag. That's why I put stuff on top of fur uh, furnaces on top of hoppers. Uh, and now, if I do this, does that do the thing it was supposed to do? Okay. Let us. Wow. We're gonna have to wait now. Last one. Oh yeah, get ourselves a cow. Now, one cow, not the most useful of things. So I think what we're going to have to do is try and make another one of those. Um, oh man, really? Another one? It's going to take a little while. But I will leave you and I will be back with a second cow. We have a new crisis and thankfully it is one we can address this evening. 
Ah, I thought I saw a skeleton over here. We are most definitely in need of bones. Six bones to be exact. Now, I'm not sure if that's a real skeleton that we can get some real bones off of, but I know that's a real creeper that will do some real damage to me if we don't deal with him. Is he one of the ones that blows up when he dies? No, thankfully. Ooh, that, that could have been a lot worse. Okay, there's, so there's a few bones. Uh... I think we're gonna keep together throughout most of this evening. Oh no, let's let's run away from him. It seems a, a bit suspicious. Not suspicious, a bit dangerous. That's the word I was really looking for. Now this thing had just killed yeah, another skeleton over here. So that is two of the six bones. Aha! <laughs> oh, mm, this not so good. We, we all watch that happen, right? Let's uh, come over here and see what we can do about remaining safe on the wall. Ha, ah, yes. Um, well... That's a thing. Him back there, he's a social zombie. Just look at it all. I'm going to go down towards this... Uh... Oh, ow. Oh, <laughs> that, that was a little bit dangerous. Um, can we do any damage down here? I don't know. This, oh, seems a little bit dangerous, and I've taken some damage, and we're just going to carry on running down here and try and get inside the door. Oh, my gosh. What was that? Okay, well, we did all right, I suppose. Um... Zombies now take over the area though. Zombies are not kind of what I'm after. I really wanted those skeletons. An actual horde is actually taking over my place here. Uh, I'm not sure what to do about this. I mean, I can shoot them all a lot, but I don't know how... Ooh! Ow! He got me and I'm about to die. Quick, water. Uh, that's probably going to put my fire out, but... Okay, I'm going to hide underground for a little bit until I... Oh, how did he get over here? Woo! That that was dangerous. Uh, I'm not sure who's firing at what anymore, but that was... Oh, that was a thing. Okay, let's get all this stuff out of my inventory. Still pretty desperate for those... Um those bones but i don't think we're going to be able to do much more tonight in fact what i'm going to do is i'm going to hide underground until i feel a little bit better a little bit uh, healthier and then i'll try and come back out if that is a possibility oh wowie what an evening so i spent most of my time just walking around up here uh killing stuff which with, with whichever weapon i could reach them with you can see there's been a few bones dropped trying to still be quite cautious i can still see there are a few bad guys out and about and around uh, but it's more more the xp and these bones that i'm after over that way i definitely did something there is a zombie coming at me i will not have that thank you all right i think there's some bones down yonder uh, maybe not this way but definitely beyond these trees uh, though that was fairly early on during the night that i did that so maybe they've despawned yeah maybe maybe okay well let's just carry on down towards these trees here where was another patch of bad guys that i killed definitely after all this experience though experience means upgrades to armor and that is definitely the thing we are after here okay so i did kill a couple round here i can't quite see anyone oh hello Let's do our best to take him out if we can that's good right any any drops around here no so looks like we managed to make it half oh ooh, ooh, the majority of our way to the target we are one bone short i do wonder whether we can whether we can do the bone in the chemical synthesizer that might be something to go and check out here's some dynamite uh, not dynamite gunpowder or oh, potassium nitrate is what it will be broken down into okay so we are one bone short i'm gonna have a quick walk around and make sure it's nowhere like just immediately apparent now that's a blue creeper let's try and avoid is he coming for me he kind of is isn't he uh if you could just not, that would be great. Wow, look how far the uh, the algae is spread. Oh man, that's amazing actually. That is that is super cool, super cool. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go inside and try and figure out a way of making this one extra bone that we need. So it turns out bones are not that hard to make. It just uh, needs a phosphate ion, which is kind of expensive, actually. Uh, I've only got 14 phosphorus, so that one was pretty harsh. Okay, so there's the bone that we needed, along with these other 15. Uh, we need to take 10 of these off of here. Stack protein, and of course, 9 soya milk. And while we wait for that to all be fed in, let's go outside and think about where we're going to keep our cows. Because obviously, it's quite a 
quite a valuable resource to have two animals. It's uh, something that I've not had before. I'm wondering whether we want to put them out maybe close uh, to this gun here. Maybe... Maybe this little pocket here that we've been having troubles with for some time could actually be useful. How far back did this go? Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I think what we're going to do, it's not great having this open like this, but is knock this back and have a, a quite intensive tiny cow, uh, quite intensive tiny cow farm here. Turns out that was quite hard to say, who knew? So, that's all that gone in once again. We can claim the reward and get two cows. Now, it ain't no cow writs. I will be the first to admit this, but I think it is an appropriate little love shack to get some smooches on the go and things like that. I think I might even put a couple of half slabs mm. just in there. But there we go. We actually did, like, some repopulation and stuff. That is nice. Uh, all about those Minecraft achievements, of course. So now all we need to do is try and breed them up and get some decent amounts of leather off them. Because, you know, we've not spent enough leather getting all the way up here. If we'd just gone straight for the... Hey, hey, get back. If we'd just gone straight for the end ahead, we probably would have been able to do it by now. Maybe we want to put stairs on the side instead. I know this is just a temporary structure, but things like this, they're important, you know? They really are important. Let's go get stairs. Uh, I'm not 100% sold either way, but I am a little bit worried about what this guy's doing. I mean, is he going to kill himself when he grows up into an adult? Is is this a thing? Is the collision box that bad? Or do I really have to worry about these things? He looks safe. Anyway, he looks safe. It has literally been all episode in the making, but we can finally get down to making this ender head. Now, the first thing we need is these ender eyes. If I have a look in here, I should be able to now just click that up. Ba boom Oh, man, that, that was actually a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Uh, a, a player where a, a task where a player has to hand, hand in items or fluids, one can be used... So I've got to put this in the quest delivery system. This is what I'm hearing there. One could be also used in the quest delivery system to submit. Well, I should have one of those. And what are we going to cr uh, claim here? I actually don't know. Is this Solvar going to be important? I don't know. Let's get one in. We might be able to get more. Who knows? Okay, so the next thing to be done in the book is this wireless charging port. Now, this is actually uh, relatively nice. You know, it saves me having to uh, put stuff in here to charge them. Because, you know, that's a pain somehow. I don't know. Uh, but if we have a look in here and go straight in on the wireless. Uh, up here, it's relatively simple to make. These octacets. Octactics. No, something like that might be a little bit difficult to make, but this is the one we need to get on straight away. But this is just solarium, vibrant alloy, you know, stuff in the slice and spice, most of which we actually have on us right now. Now, I believe it was that one up there, this one in here. If we just have a look over here, we can grab a few of these because these are always kept handy to hand. Ah, here it is. We've got, got a load here. Okay, so that's that charging away or being constructed. This one, I'm not sure if I've got one at the moment. Let's go and have a look. This is my box of capacitors. No, no, I don't. Okay, I'm going to have to make one of those quickly off camera because, you know, it's long and you've seen it before. Well, talk about tasks that took about 15 times as long as you thought you they would. Uh, so these vibrant alloys, they need a an ender pearl for each one. Base uh, Plus, they also need the energetic alloys, which takes uh, glowstone. This also needs a glowstone square in the middle. Square, cube, whatever. Uh, thankfully, all I had to do was run around and hunt some uh, skeletons because you get phosphorus from, skeleton, from bone and you could put that together to make some glowstone which was quite good so I think I've got everything I need now it's just a whole load of machine Hello, I can't walk left for some reason there we go got it got it working again just need a whole load of electric steel was it that much I cannot remember but we are gonna just click this and see yes wireless charging all right where are we gonna put it this is it what's the, what's the range on it let's put it down and see what it says it doesn't Give us a, lit, uh, a distance. Is it something I've got to be stood on? Has it not? I don't know. We're going to try putting it into... I don't know. which. What can we rip away? Uh, this one kind of being all right there, actually. Uh, let's take this one down. Pop and a whole load of stuff, but that's okay. What I want to know is if I put it there, does it just do it via distance? Everything is fully charged. I can't, I can't tell. Um, well, we'll have to check that out at some point. But that's another quest completed we're gonna get the ender resonator back and I think we're gonna get mmm I've got a lot of these flux stone capacitors just kicking about but this dark still looks like it might be useful so let's do that 
And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, 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 I'm. all right. Well, I couldn't just quite leave it there. There are a few more things I need to say in this extra lives bit here. When I was going around killing uh, skeletons for bones and stuff, I seem to have completed two quests here. That's nice. I'm going to take a sniper cell, and of course, a sniper cell. That's that's pretty tasty. Can I do both of these at once? I can't. Okay, we're going to do that, and we're going to do that. And the other thing I want to try is this. Not so close to water. Yeah, there we go. That that worked this time. Can we? What is this? People just running away instantly. How am I supposed to even start a fight? There we go. We've started a fight. Come on, dude. Let, let's have it. Face my... Whoa. Face my ender. There we go. Is that it? Is it not it? Where is he? Is he actually down here? These guys are tricksy. Very, very tricksy. He's down in a hole. Good. We can do this. Yeah, this is the real one as well, I think. Yes, it was. We got a bit of, a bit of stone and an ender pearl. I was kind of hoping for more than one ender pearl, as it took an ender pearl to do the vibranium alloy. Uh, all right. Well, anyway, with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. I will see you next time, where we're probably going to try a little bit more ender farming. Maybe use this soul vial here to make it uh, more efficient. Maybe some sort of powered system or something. Uh, and other things such as that. But until then, bye!